Every season seems to be getting crazier and crazier in college football. Although there are the same handful of teams that dominate each year, there's usually one or two teams that come out of nowhere and shock us all by reaching the playoffs for the first time in the program history. Although I'm expecting we see the usual suspects there once again at the end of the season, here are nine teams who could reach the college football playoff for the first time in program history. Before we get to today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are that you love college football, and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. I'm posting videos every day leading up to the start of the season, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As a quick reminder, there have been 14 different teams who have reached the college football playoff over the last decade. Those teams have been Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, LSU, Oregon, TCU, Washington, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Florida State, Michigan State, and Cincinnati. So, for obvious reasons, those teams aren't going to be included in today's video. The first team that's going to kick things off is USC. A number of Pac-12 teams have made the playoff over the years, but USC hasn't been one of them. They had their chance back in 2017 when they won 11 games and won the Pac-12. However, they ended up playing in the Cotton Bowl. They were destined for the playoffs last year as they were 11-1 entering the Pac-12 title game. They were ranked inside the top four, so they would have most likely been in with a victory over Utah. They took an early lead, but Utah flipped the script and dominated the rest of the way. The Trojans are favored to win the conference yet again this season with Caleb Williams returning as quarterback. They do have a few tough matchups, but the Trojans are likely going to be favored in every game. Speaking of being favored, the Trojans currently have the 5th best odds of reaching the college football playoff. Right behind the Trojans with the 6th best odds of reaching the playoff is Texas. They've never been close to reaching the playoff, but this season might finally be the year that they're back. The Big 12 is wide open this year, but Texas is currently the favorite to win at even odds. I think this has a chance to be their best team we've seen in recent memory, but just like with every Texas team, they're going to have to prove it to us first. I mean, they're coming off an 8-win season, and they haven't even won 10 games in a year since 2018. All eyes are on Michigan and Ohio State this season, and for good reason. They're the two best teams in the Big 10, and will likely be in the hunt for the playoff all season. But if there's another team that is going to make some noise in the conference, it's going to be Penn State. They've been close to making the playoffs over the years. They won the Big Ten in 2016 and were number 5 in the rankings, but just missed out. The Nittany Lions won 11 games last year, including winning the Rose Bowl, so there's no reason as to why they can't at least replicate that. They play both Ohio State and Michigan during the regular season, so some wins there can help boost their resume and set them up perfectly to be the Big Ten representative in the playoff. I'll throw another Big Ten team in here as Wisconsin could potentially be a wild card. I know that their 2022 season was disappointing as they won only 7 games, but I expect them to bounce back this year, especially with their new head coach, Luke Fickle. Their schedule is also pretty easy as they avoid Michigan and Penn State. Their toughest game of the year is Ohio State, but they do get them at home. If they win that game, they could be in the driver's seat towards a spot in the Big Ten title game. The Badgers were on the verge of a playoff spot back in 2017. They were 12-0 to start the season and were ranked third when they played in the Big Ten title game. They lost by 6 points to Ohio State and that dropped them out of the top 4. Considering they were still 12-1 and lost the championship game by only 6 points, I'm not really sure why the committee decided to drop them out entirely. But hey, that's the college football playoff committee for you. We'll get the lone SEC team in here with Tennessee. Last year was easily their best chance of reaching the playoff as they were ranked all the way at number 2 at one point in the season. They were still in the hunt towards the end of the year, but their loss to South Carolina at the end of the season wiped out their chances. If any SEC team other than Georgia, Alabama, or LSU was going to make a run, it might as well be Tennessee. But that's asking for a lot. Their schedule is absolutely brutal, so it seems difficult that they're going to make it out alive and manage to play in the SEC title game. But, stranger things have happened. A team that could surprise a lot of people in 2023 is Texas Tech. 
After a rough start to their 2022 campaign, they finished the year with a four-game winning streak and were playing like one of the hottest teams in all of college football. They're still a long shot, but hey, so was TCU last year. As I mentioned earlier when talking about Texas, I think the Big 12 is wide open this season. There's honestly four or five teams I could see making it to the Big 12 title game and potentially representing their conference in the playoff. In addition to playing a tough schedule, the Red Raiders also have an out-of-conference game against Oregon at the start of the season that could be quite the resume booster. A lot has to go right for the Red Raiders to shock the world, but if it ends up happening, just know that you heard it here first. We're going to have a lot of Pac-12 love to close out this video, and rightfully so. I've said this a number of times this offseason, but this upcoming year is the best the Pac-12 has been in quite some time. It's going to be an insane way to go out, as I can see more than half of these teams winning the conference. We'll get things started off with Utah, who has somehow never made the playoff. They were close in 2019 when they entered the Pac-12 title game 11-1 and ranked number 5 in the country, but they got blown up by Oregon and their chances were shot. This is a team that won the conference last year and played in the Rose Bowl. They lost some talent to the draft, but they return a lot of talent as well. Their out of conference schedule is pretty insane as they play Florida and Baylor, not to mention their conference matchups against USC, Oregon, Washington, UCLA, and Oregon State. This is probably one of the more difficult schedules in all of college football, so if they somehow make it through it undefeated or with one loss, they do have a chance of making it to the playoff. Another Pac-12 school that may surprise some people is Oregon State. After being one of the worst Pac-12 teams for nearly a decade, the Beavers came out of nowhere and won 10 games last season. They were on the verge of playing in the conference title game, but due to some crazy tiebreakers, they ended up missing out on it. They had a bad loss to Utah, but their other two losses were by 3 points each. And if you watch their game against USC, you know that's a game that they should have won. The Beavers do avoid SC this year on their schedule, so that should help their chances. Our final team on today's list is another Pac-12 team that surprised many people last year in UCLA. The Bruins had their best season since 2014. They won their first six games of the year and climbed as high as number nine in the polls. They struggled a bit after that though and finished the season going three and four. But they had some close losses, losing to USC by 3, losing by 2 to Pittsburgh, and falling to Arizona by 6. There's a lot of hype surrounding the Bruins entering 2023. They avoid both Oregon and Washington on their schedule, but they still gotta worry about teams like Utah, USC, and Oregon State. Not to mention all the other Pac-12 teams that could cause chaos. As I talked about earlier, the Pac-12 is going to be absolutely insane this year. There are 6 or 7 teams who I could honestly see winning the conference and making it to the playoff as the Pac-12's representative. Well, those are the 9 teams who can make their playoff debuts in 2023. Was there a team who has yet to make it that I didn't include on this list? Whoever that team is, let me know in the comment section down below. Before you leave, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. I'm posting college football videos every day leading up to the start of the season, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.